dear viewers welcome to our channel gvs bank academy myself jv subaro retired agm from central bank of india qualified company secretary cost accountant semi qualified chartered accountant and mcom cib tfs diploma in financial international banking diploma in treasury investment with 15 to 20 years teaching experience now today i am going to discuss about cab bank financial management and risk management plus and this mclr marginal cost of fund based lending rate this topic is very very important for all the examinations for all the examinations marginal cost of funds based lending rates mclr marginal cost of funds based lending rate first april 2016 onwards banks are implementing this this jb all papers cab all papers and promotional examinations all scales they are asking these questions the first point the marginal cost of borrowing shall have a weightage of 92% for marginal cost of funds it means out of total 100% of this mclr 92% weightage they are giving to deposits Bo cost of borrowings means marginal cost of funds means deposits 92% and remaining uh, 8% weight they are giving to net worth capital plus own funds capital 8% and for deposits they are giving 92% you have to remember these two points out of this they are giving weightage to deposits 92 remaining 8% they are taking for net worth of the bank first point second mclr marginal cost of funds based lending rate will comprise of four parts are there how they are going to calculate mclr in the banks marginal cost of funds and means cost of deposits marginal cost additional cost of deposits marginal cost of funds and deposits negative carry on account of crr what is the meaning of this crr balances on crr bank is not getting any interest from rbi to the testant part of the amount they have to cover from mclr that's why that is negative carry on account of crr so crr deposit that it is a cost you having some cost but bank is not getting anything from rbi that's why part of the amount towards crr you have to recover from mclr that is the meaning operating costs normally in the banks you know operating costs rent salaries rent to llct uh, audit, audit charges miscellaneous charges maintenance charges insurance all this is for operating cost also they have to recover something plus tenor premium based on term one year two years three years four years five years the tenor premium is going to be decided based on risk and tenor premium this is decided so mclr will comprise of marginal cost of funds this is cost of deposits negative carry on account of crr operating cost and tenor premium point number two is book three bank shall publish the internal benchmark for the following which would mclr they have to publish in the on their website at least mandatory five mclr five buckets power night mclr one month mclr three months mclr six months mclr one year mclr bank shall publish the internal benchmark for the following five maturities overnight one month three months six months and one year this is the minimum in addition to five 
banks are at liberty to disclose any other maturity also but they have to disclose mandatorily these five now fourth find bank should have a board approved policy delineating the components of spread charged to customer regarding uh, spread delineating to the components of the customers there must be a board approved policy regarding tenor premium one year how much two years how much three years bank should adopt the monthly review of mclr every month on a fixed date bank should adopt and declare the mclr for the month of uh, july mclr for the month of june every month on a fixed date they have to uh, review and declare and with effect from 1st april 2016 banks are implementing the mclr so in theoretical part these five points they are asking questions from the examination what type of loans are exempted from mclr where stop loans loans against deposits uh, loans against um, other government sponsored schemes loans for internal directors where lending lending rates are linked with other benchmark lending rates at that time mclr is not applicable this is about the exemptions now next point is calculation of mclr this is the very very useful difficult and important calculation of mclr you please see headings rates offered on deposits on the date of review for borrowing the for deposits what rate of interest they are offering to the customers on the date of review of mclr this pala balance outstanding as a percentage of total deposits other than equity out of their liabilities what is the percentage of current deposits out of their total liabilities excluding capital what is the percentage this is the percentage and marginal cost d a a b c d is equal b into c this is b this is c one minute this is about the this now coming to once again rates rate of interest offered on deposit on the date of review of the mclr here it will come balance outstanding as a percentage of total funds total deposits other than equity net worth this is marginal cost d is equal to b rate of interest into balance outstanding as a percentage this is there current deposits banks are not offering any rate of interest zero out of total deposits percentage is 10% current deposits constitutes out of total deposits 10% so marginal cost on cd zero because they are not paying any interest on current deposit to customers that's why zero savings deposit normally banks are paying 3% 3% 2.75 to 3 that's why on an average i have taken 3% industry average i have taken 3% normally out of total deposits savings deposits constitutes percentage of 30 i have taken 30% savings 30 current deposit 10 40 casa deposit is 40% on an average taken even sbi also around same some bank they are having more but on an average industry average casa is 40 i have taken 40 say okay. savings deposit rate of interest 3% percent percent balance outstanding out of total fund 30 that is called 30 into 3 30 into 3 30 into 3 is equal uh, 0.9 percent 0.9 30 into 3 percent that is equal 0.9 percent 0.9 on an average savings deposit marginal cost is 0.9 percent how 30 into 3 percent that is equal to 0.9 percent time deposit fixed deposits 
ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ టోటల్ డిపాజిట్స్ టైం డిపాజిట్ అమౌంట్ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ నాన్ ఆన్ యావరేజ్ యాజ్ ఆఫ్ టుడే ఇండస్ట్రీ యావరేజ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఆన్ టైం డిపాజిట్ సెవెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ టేకన్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇంటూ సెవెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇంటూ సెవెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ దట్ ఇస్ దేర్ నౌ బారోయింగ్స్ మార్కెట్ బారోయింగ్స్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ టేకెన్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ది రీజన్ ఫర్ టేకింగ్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ టుడే బ్యాంక్స్ బారోయింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్బీఐ రిపో రేట్ ఈస్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఇఫ్ రిపో రేట్ ఈస్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మార్కెట్ బారోయింగ్ ఆల్సో నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఓవర్ నైట్ బారోయింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ అదర్స్ ఆల్సో దట్స్ వై ఓవరాల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ బారోయింగ్ ఐ టేక్ ఇన్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ దట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ప్రజెంట్ టుడే రిపో రేట్ ఈస్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ సో బారోయింగ్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ టోటల్ డిపాజిట్స్ పర్సంటేజ్ ఈజ్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ టెన్ ఇంటూ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ టెన్ ఇంటూ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ కోల్డ్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ మార్జినల్ కాస్ట్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ది మార్జినల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ బారోయింగ్ ఆఫ్ డిపాజిట్స్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ నో యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ నైన్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ నైన్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ జీరో ఫైవ్ ఓవరాల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ డిపాజిట్స్ ఇన్క్లూడింగ్ బారోయింగ్ టు ది బ్యాంక్ ఈజ్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ జీరో ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ నౌ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ దిస్ పాయింట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఓన్లీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఫర్ బారోయింగ్స్ రిమైనింగ్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ డిపాజిట్స్ సో ఫైవ్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ బారోయింగ్ ఈజ్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ జీరో దిస్ ఈజ్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ డిపాజిట్స్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రూవ్ డౌన్ టు నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ మార్జిన్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ వెయిట్ వెయిటేజ్ ఫర్ బారోయింగ్స్ సో ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ జీరో ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ జీరో ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ ఫర్ డిపాజిట్స్ యావరేజ్ కాస్ట్ ఫర్ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ how you had arrived this 4.646 5.05 is the cost of deposits but in the mclr they are giving weightage to deposits 92% so 5.05 into 92% that is 4.646 it is marginal cost of borrowings remaining 8% they are giving weight to net worth of the bank net worth means capital plus reserves net worth what is the risk free return they are getting from the market if they are investing the net worth in the outside the bank risk free return they are getting 10% 10% i have taken 10% 10% into 8 10 into 8% 10 into 8 is equal to 0.80 10 ఇంటూ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ది వెయిటేజ్ ఫర్ నెట్ వర్త్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ నైంటీ టూ పర్సెంట్ ఫర్ డిపాజిట్స్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ ఫర్ నెట్ వర్త్ సో టెన్ ఇంటూ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ నౌ వాట్ ఈస్ ది ఓవరాల్ మార్జిన్ కాస్ట్ ఇది మార్జిన్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ బారోయింగ్ డిపాజిట్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ నెట్ వర్త్ వాట్ ఈస్ ది మార్జిన్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఫండ్ యావరేజ్ డిపాజిట్స్ ప్లస్ నెట్ వర్త్ ఈజ్ ఈ కోల్డ్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ 646 plus 0.8 that is equal to 5.446% that is the marginal cost of funds of the bank 92% weightage for deposits 8% weightage for net worth 5.446 negative carry on account of share this question is very 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 important in the promotional exam all skills they are asking how we can calculate negative carry on account of crr required crr as of today crr percentage is 4.5 percent of nditl that's why i have taken 4.5 in the fraction 0.045 0.045 that is required crr as of today 4.5 that is 0.045 into marginal cost of 
borrowing funds 5.446 what is their marginal cost of funds 5.446 that into 1 by divided by 1 by crr 1 by crr 1 minus 0 0.045 1 minus 0 0.045 if we can calculate this 0 0.045 into 5.446 you will get 0 0.2450 into divided by 0 0.955 into 5.446 divided by 0.955 that will come to 0.256. So, on account of CRR interest, the bank is taking cost 2.56 percentage. They are adding in their marginal cost of borrowings, marginal cost of lending. They are taking towards this is the amount they are loading in MCLR for negative carry on account of CRR. Very, very important. Required CRR that is 0 0.045 into marginal cost 5.446 divided by upon 1 minus CRR 1 minus 0 0.045 that is equal to 0 0.256. Operating cost I have taken on an industry average 2%. Operating cost salary is rent to LRCT. Normally 2% is applicable. Normally banks are calculating also in house also 2% they are taking. And tenor premium normally for one year 0.25 they are taking. Two years the tenor premium may increase. Overall the tenor premium for one year loan they are taking 0.25. For this calculation also I have taken 0.25. So what is the MCLR? Marginal cost of fund based lending rate from this example is equal to marginal cost of funds 5.446 plus Negative carry on account of CRR 0.256 plus operating cost 2%, tenor premium 0.25%. We can calculate this add 5.446 plus 0.256 plus 2% plus 0.25 that is marginal cost of fund based lending rate of the bank 7.952. We can say 8%. It is coming 7.952 for this under this calculation. It may be say 8%. In this manner, banks are calculating the MCLR. In the recent CAB examination question, they had given for 5 marks. In JAB 2 to 3 papers, they had given MCLR components. And in ABM, negative carry on account of CRR calculation they had given. So overall, for JAB all papers, CAB all papers, for banks promotional examination, for bank interviews for all scales, MCLR meaning MCLR calculation particularly with specific reference to negative carry on account of CRR calculation is very very important. My humble request to all the participants, those people are viewing, please share this PPT, this YouTube link to your friends for their benefit, number one. And if you are liking our uh, this, uh, please press the like button for getting more uh, presentations in the future. Thank you very much friends for JAB October examinations, CAB November December examinations, already classes are in progress, interested members are requested to join for JAB CAB or any of your friends are interested, please give our reference to them. Thank you very much for all.